Welcome to DSNews.com. I'm Carrie Bay, and this is Thursday's Top Default Servicing News. A new industry index suggests that about one in seven housing markets have returned to or surpassed their pre-recessionary levels of activity. The new leading market index, released for the first time this week, measures employment growth, home price appreciation, and single-family housing permits to assess overall improvements in individual markets. Taken as a whole, the U.S. housing market registers a reading of 85% of, quote, normal activity. David Crow, chief economist for the National Association of Home Builders, which publishes the index jointly with First American, said, quote, Smaller metros are leading the way to a housing recovery, accounting for 43 of the top 50 markets on the current leading market index. This is very much in keeping with the results of our previous index for improving markets and is an indication of the extent to which local economic conditions dictate the strength of individual housing markets, end quote. Residential shadow inventory stood at 1.9 million homes as of July, according to CoreLogic. That's the lowest shadow inventory tally reported since August of 2008. The industry's current shadow inventory carries a value of $293 billion, down from $380 billion in July of 2012. The nearly 2 million homes in the shadows represent 3.7 months of supply at July's sales pace. CoreLogic measures shadow inventory as homes with mortgages that are seriously delinquent in foreclosure are bank-owned but not yet listed for sale. Be sure to check out our extended coverage of these stories and all the news affecting your business right here on our site. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on Friday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.